Hey everyone, it's been a while, so I just wanted to give you guys some kind of update. This summer I've been in the process of buying a property, and that combined with work just doesn't allow me much time to do anything else. So first of all, the Drivable Boats project was finished a while ago. I uploaded it to Fab a couple months ago, but when I submitted it for review, they said it can't use the water plugin because it's experimental. This never occurred to me because this is the same water plugin from 4.26. I mean, it's been several years. And because this is a boat project, it kind of needs water. I could exclude the water plugin and say, just add it yourself. But then there's no way to have a demo level, which they also need to approve it. So, you know, until I can find a way to do that, or until the water plugin is no longer experimental, which I'm not holding my breath, my only option is to offer it privately. Basically, this project comes with all the systems for boats uh, that the player can interact with, and you know you can they can enter them and drive them around. Um, you have options like to hide your player or show your player, or have the the camera follow the rotation of the boat. Uh, there's a submersible. There's actually C++ functions now that um, this is also part of why I can't disconnect it from the water plugin. I've actually edited it. And there's new functions, so you can now alter the buoyancy, and you can dynamically change pontoons, which, again, normally you cannot change pontoons once you've set them, but this allows you to do that, and obviously I need to include the water plugin as part of the package, because it relies on it to compile. So, um, yeah, so there's all that boat stuff, but... What people really seem to like is the fact that this comes with AI navigation for the AI boats. So if I switch pawn here with F, uh, and I can fly up, and uh, I can use right mouse button, and click anywhere here, and this boat will go, and it will navigate using the default navigation system, and it will get there. So. If this looks like something you could use, just join the Discord with the link in the description and let me know. I also just published this First Person Ladders project. Uh, it's just a quick, simple one, preluding a complex version that would be for the third person, including animations and AI navigation of ladders. So this one is just for the player. Just for first person, there's no mesh, it uses the flying movement, and it works basically like Half-Life 2 ladders, just something uh, lightweight and cheap uh, for a specific purpose. Alright, so right now, what I'm working on is this advanced main menu project. This is taken from the Souls-like template to be improved, and then released as its own project but most likely also inserted back into the Souls-like template. So the cool thing about this is I was so incredibly stubborn that I demanded I get multiple mapping slots also with each capable of mapping multiple keys. So normally when you remap keys with like the uh, the enhanced input user settings, you can only remap one key. So I have, I mean, you know, you can add as many as you want, really. Um, but even beyond that, you can also map multiple keys to to them. So here I'm pressing uh, the arrow keys. Nothing is happening. This is WSAD. Arrow keys, but if I hold control, and if I exit, it's still there. Detects your audio device. Uh, we got multiple uh, volume channels, video settings, like I said, controls. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really cool. I actually really like this one. And finally, for the fun stuff, I have made progress on my unnamed boat game. 
I just have to voice it over and compile the clips together. Hopefully that can be done soon. But until then, thank you for watching. For now, I will see you in the next one.